walk along the streets of Kiev, of Kherson, of Kharkiv and not a lot of people have a lot to say. Well, in Kherson, there's nobody around to say anything. In many parts of Kharkiv, there's nobody around to say anything on the streets. But war is on everyone's mind. How do you read that? Read it on the walls, on the paintings, the figures, the graffiti, the posters. Some people have said it there, others are seeing it there. Let's hear some of what Ukraine is saying without actually, of course, saying it. By the Krishatik street in Kiev, a row of posters remind passers-by of their Ukrainian past as distinguished always now from a Soviet and particularly Russian past. Along the Freedom Square in Kharkiv, the word is out. Keep calm and win. We will rule the cosmos. What is a marvel? It is the armed forces of Ukraine. Kharkiv is the hero city. Its people stand together. Everywhere, the walls speak their tribute to the fallen. A flag for every fallen soldier, but that was at the start of the war. There is no room for many more flags here at the Maidan in Kiev. The plaques are long out of date. Updating them is just too difficult. The call to arms, the call to back the armed, speaks on every street. An SOS for ammunition, a cry against war, a salute to miraculous HIMARS missiles and a loaded recall of a poem. Lovely maidens fall in love, but not with Muscovites. Remnants of old wars stand here and there. Preparation for the war underway is everywhere. While there is a chance, fight to the end. Don't be afraid when you're alone. Be afraid when you're no more. Statues and monuments now stand a shrouded tribute to the dead. In Ukraine today, Christ himself appears in a bunker.